welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to group kids in advisory. The school uses an intuitive um, format by grouping kids through a house system. And then we have rankings, tiers, different prizes, different games. It's just a great way to create engagement and buy-in without having to utilize just different grades. It's also a universal way to send out communication throughout a building, as well as create events and fun activities for kids. Hope you enjoy the showcase. A couple years ago, the school I work at, we launched a, a new house system within our advisory program. Now, this took a long time to build, so you'll notice we have different logos here. Originally, when we were using advisory, it was a great way to send out communication and kind of start some simple events. And the kids were grouped in houses based off of Ivy League schools. Sure, it was fine. Staff didn't argue. And then kids started to buy a little more into advisory. So we decided to have a competition to create the different logos for each house. So there's five houses. And what we did the first year was we had an art competition. Kids from each house could submit pieces. The only requirement was that it had to fly because the school logo is a Thunderbird. So this was the winning Blue Jay logo. This was the Flying Panda Dragons, Hippogriffs, Phoenix, and then the P Pterodactyls. Each one comes with a little bio, and kids designed all of these. Teachers decided on the titles after kids suggested some, and then they voted, basically. And what happened is, now kids are grouped within these houses. So you can see how many teachers are in each house. But these teachers are all not the same content, nor the same grade level. So this creates more equity as far as competitions go, when you have a, a coin, coin drive of some sort, or when there's a competition in the gym, something like that. After the success of this, we started to sell house gear. So we streamlined the logos a bit. So here's the new logos. You can see they're much more digital. And we started keeping track of these competitions. So we have a leveling up iReady token menu. There's a few ways they can earn prizes here. They can get points for completing lessons in iReady, which is a tool that the district uses to gauge reading and math, but just from winning competitions. So each logo would be placed on this house ladder here, and then they could move down and they could redeem their points for prizes. So desserts, maybe it was a candy cane, house versus admin competition with some kickball or volleyball, another dessert, a gym competition, pajama day for your house. So it was a great way to create buy-in. Then what we would do every Monday, the entire house would get together. So all the Blue Jays would go in one classroom, all the Hippogriffs would go in one space, and so on and so on. And this is where we'd go over announcements for the week. So we'd we're getting rid of the overhead announcements each day. This is also where we play a game within our own house and have some prizes, maybe do some drawings for gift cards, things like that. Now, flipping forward a couple years, and we're in a virtual world, advisory looks a little different. So now it's this intuitive slide deck that is sent out each week to staff for them to share with their advisory students that they loop with for three years. And I theme each of them. So this one was themed to the Oasis because Ready Player 2 just came out. And each of these titles is hyperlinked to a specific slide within the presentation. And you click on the Holiday Journals, it takes you back to the home screen. I use the speaker notes. I also embed audio on slide 5. But going with the house system, every Wednesday, rather than having a house meeting, we're now having a house competition. And so what I did was I embedded a Google Meets link into each of the logos. So teachers can share these logos or the link itself with their class, and then they can click and play the game. Then we have a running scoreboard, much like we did last year, but instead of it being a ladder, it's more traditional scoreboard. And then there's items in the house shop. So students can decide as a house if they want to cash in their points and unlock some of this cool clip art. It'll go in the trophy cabinet that I'm going to build. And from here, students can start getting bragging rights for their house. Each of these items are also themed from previous advisory slide decks. So the DeLorean is from, well, Back to the Future, but in this case, Ready Player One. Last month was the Mandalorian theme. The month before that was Harry Potter. And the month before that was Netflix. But the Mulan movie just came out, so I'm using Mushu as a prize. 
This is a great way to get student buy-in and rep their house. So, hey, as always, thanks for watching and check out the show notes below for an example slide deck to use um, in your own classroom.